Is this thing on? Yes, it's on. Good morning, I'm Emily, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I did not wake up like this. Full disclaimer, I went ahead and got ready, but today is a Saturday, which for me as a part-time reseller, I do work full-time in a corporate job. This is my day to get things done, be productive, do everything that has been waiting for me to do during the week that I didn't have time to do. So I thought it would be fun today to do a little bit of a vlog and show you what my typical Saturday looks like, whether it is drinking coffee or going to the thrift store or going to the post office or anything in between. It's December, so it's a busy time of year and I thought it'd be fun just to bring you all along on the ride for this Saturday. Maybe if you're a part-time reseller, this could help you on ideas of how to structure your weekends if you want to work on the weekends, of course, or if you're a full-time reseller, maybe this gives you an idea of what you could get done potentially over the weekend time frame rather than during the work week. So anyways, I'll go ahead and take you guys along on the ride and hope you enjoy. Before I go any further, if you like vlogs, definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will continue to make them. Let's get started. The first thing we do every Saturday morning is brew some coffee. This is our favorite, it's from Sam's Club. It's just Dunkin' Donuts coffee and we actually used to have a Keurig coffee maker but we went back to a drip coffee maker to save a little money and we just like that better because we can make it as strong as we want. Here is how I typically make my coffee. I have like three fourths a cup in this Ray Dunn mug. I love these, I got them when I was in New York back in February of this year. And then I do a little splash of almond milk creamer and then a little splash of regular almond milk as well. And that's how I have my coffee every day. It's the way I like to have it most and we usually just drink coffee at home. We also have been doing a ton of juicing. So here are the things that we're going to put in our juice. We do carrots, celery, apples, oranges, and I guess my husband is going to put spinach in there as well. So we've been doing that every morning and having some fresh juice. And here is our juicer. While my husband cuts up the vegetables, this is a Breville cold juice fountain. And we just got this last week and we like it so far. It makes really yummy juice for the morning. Cheers to a productive Saturday morning. Full of Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> and Poshmark. I thought I'd show you all what I'm packing up today to take to the post office. I just sold three things because I do ship almost every day besides Sundays, of course, and so I don't usually get super backed up. This first piece is a Boston proper blazer. I sold it for $18, which is a little bit less than I planned on, but it was taking up so much room in my closet, I had to go ahead and accept an offer on it. So I'm excited to give this a new home, and I feel like somebody will absolutely love this for like the career, the office, or just a special event coming up this holiday season. This is another Boston proper tweed blazer, and this one is like a blue tweed color. It's really pretty. I think it would be good for a special event. And this actually sold yesterday to somebody else. So I guess a lot of people are buying tweed blazers. So this one, yeah, it sold on Poshmark for $20 and I will go ahead and pack it up now. These are ED by Ellen DeGeneres sneakers and I picked these up purely because I loved this love logo on the side of the shoes. They sold on Poshmark for $30 actually to a guest posher. So somebody who maybe doesn't use Poshmark but just found these probably on a Google search and bought them. So I'm excited to give them a new home. I feel like somebody will absolutely love these. Here is the printer I use for my Poshmark labels. It is a Dymo Label Writer 4XL. I actually won this in a Poshmark giveaway, which was awesome, but honestly, I don't think I could go without it. It makes shipping so much easier. It takes all the tape out of it, which is so nice, and I just love this thing. All my packages are ready to go. I don't know why. I love these Aldi bags so much to store things in, but they're just the best. They hold up so well. I just got them at the Aldi grocery store. It was really cheap. I did try the Ikea ones, but I like these better. And so I've got my three packages ready to go and to carry into the post office. I am sitting in my driveway, getting ready to head out for the morning. I am going to go to the car wash and maybe pick up some donuts for the postal workers because they've been working really hard this holiday season. So I will bring you along into some of the places and let's go ahead and get into it. One money. 
money saving tip for the car wash. Go to one of the ones with free vacuums and you can vacuum for as long as you want until your car is completely clean. And that saves just a little bit of money. I was gonna get donuts, but it looks like the donut shop I usually go to is actually out of business, so that's so sad. So I won't have time to get donuts for the post office workers today, but I will try to do that next weekend. Just got super lucky and made it out of the post office in record time for a Saturday in December. It only took just a little bit of time, maybe like 15 minutes, and I have my packages shipped, headed to the thrift store now. The thrift store was not as good as I expected, but I did find a few really quality pieces. I found Sorel boots for the first time, so I was really excited about that and a really neat jacket. So I found, I think, just four things, which is okay. I stayed for about an hour, but they're really good quality, so it should be a good return on investment. I am now going into the Dollar Tree to get some bags for wrapping. I need to wrap some Christmas gifts, and then I'm gonna head home. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Is what I got at the Dollar Tree some gift bags some wrapping tissue and I know what you're thinking Emily hey you could use wrapping paper and that would be cheaper my answer to that <laughs> is that I'm terrible at wrapping gifts with wrapping paper it ends up looking really really bad so I went with these instead and my total was less than ten dollars because everything at the Dollar Tree is one dollar what are we eating for lunch AJ I from where? Brock Lesnar's finest, Jimmy John's. <laughs> Who's Brock Lesnar, AJ? You know who Brock Lesnar is. Everybody He's does not. WWE superstar. We are about to eat some Jimmy John's for lunch and then go work out. AJ and I are about to head to the gym to do a workout. I am wearing a Lululemon Swiftly Tech short sleeve tee some Lululemon Pace Rival crops, and my shoes are just Mizuno, so they're like Mizuno, I think they're Wave Runners. So people always ask me about my workout routine and what I do, I tend to run like four to five miles a few times a week, and I also do a little bit of weightlifting and sometimes yoga. So if you want me to go in more detail into that, definitely just leave a comment down below. But I do love working out, I think it's really good, it makes me feel really good, which is the most important, and so we try to do that five to six days a week. We're not perfect, but that's what we try to do. You're on. What are you doing we're, for your- And we're live. What are you doing for your workout today, AJ? Legs. Tell them what you're doing. Legs. Oh, there goes my alarm. I think that's an alarm to wake up from my nap. Wake up, go wake to the up, gym. Wake up, go to the gym. Get huge. <laughs> It was a great workout. I am going to cook some dinner. We're having breakfast for dinner, some eggs and some vegetables. It should be really good. My husband's gonna go run a movie and we're gonna watch that after I do a little bit of listing. So we're gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna do some listing for Poshmark and then maybe edit this video and watch a movie. So thank you for following along today. I feel like this was like one really long Insta story. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you like the vlog, definitely leave a comment down below. Like I said earlier in the video and I will continue to make them. It's really, really fun for me. But like I said in my last vlog, I just have to remember to do it, which can be just a little bit challenging for me. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful end to your week and weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for following along. Bye.